all right y'all so i know this video is going to be very helpful to many people that have been doing their ball cap methods wrong or they just simply don't know where to start so this is a very 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 beginner friendly very very easy technique to do and this is something you can do on yourself as well I like to sew the back of my caps down. Some people like to just leave them out open. But personally me, I like to sew the caps down. And I'm gonna be showing y'all three different ball cap methods on three different people. It's gonna be the same exact techniques, but I'm just gonna be showing different steps for different ones. So this is very important. You wanna make sure you pull the cap down if the person has a small head. Make sure you're pulling it down if it doesn't stretch down long enough and it looks wrinkled. If you still use a holding spray in 2023 to use on the front of your cap, to hold the cap down in the front, please, please continue to watch this video and throw that technique away. After you sew your cap down in the back, you can go ahead with the Erica J Skin Guard and spray this directly on your skin through the cap. You're also going to make sure it gets on the cap as well, of course, because you want it there. Like anywhere you spray this skin guard, the adhesive is going to stick like it's going just like that. This step is very important, especially if you want a long lasting install. This is the best way to do your ball cap with the adhesive because when you're using holding sprays, holding spray has alcohol in it. And once you get to sweating and getting wet, alcohol is gonna mix with your sweat and guess what's gonna happen? Your wig is gonna lift. She weird, it's like she's just a weirdo. If you're using the Erica J waterproof and sweatproof adhesive with the skin guard that has waterproof and sweatproof properties inside of it, once you start sweating and once you get wet and you do these steps the exact way I'm trying to tell you to do it, what do you think is gonna happen if you get wet or you sweat? Wig ain't going nowhere, wig ain't going nowhere, wig ain't going nowhere. Now it's time to apply the makeup. You want to use a shade that's a little darker than your actual skin tone or your client's skin tone. You don't want to put the exact shade of your skin because once you put the wig down, it's going to look so noticeable. You want to do one shade darker than your skin because it's going to blend way better. Trust me. Trust me on this. You also don't need to pack a whole bunch of makeup on the cap. Like you can be very light handed, but you want to make sure it's on there, but don't use too, too much. Look how perfectly this blends. Your preparation process is honestly the most important process of your wig install. If you skip these steps, if you bullshit on these steps, if you don't do these steps exactly the right way, the way the instructions say, the way I'm telling you to do it, these demo videos are here for a reason. Your wig is not going to last long, it's not going to give, the products are not going to work the way they're intended to work if you don't follow the instructions. Trust me when I say, I will never lead you wrong. That is freaking crazy. Very, like literally very crazy. <laughs> I was doing hair, so she wasn't at the shop at this time. Mm -hmm. She came in, she just came out of nowhere. At this point, this one I feel like, you know how people tap your chin, like you put yeah. <laughs> Over there by the ears, that area needs love too. Don't ever leave that area out of your install process when you're laying your adhesive down and cleaning behind that area for the skin guard, all of that, every product goes there. Make sure you have some good sharp scissors that's actually gonna cut the cap off seamlessly and easily. If you don't have any good shears, unfortunately the cap is not gonna look clean across the front and this is really, really important, especially when you start to lay your adhesive. You don't want no straggly little pieces getting caught up in your glue. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.